Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my single powder eyeshadow collection. So, oh, there's also this palette here. This has been like my love that I have been kind of keeping as my ideal palette of the moment. But it's it's honestly time to go through all of the shadows because I know I'm not using all of them and I know that there are duplicates here. So this is going to be my attempt at whittling this down. So I'm gonna take everything out and then put them on the floor and then just start decluttering. cut off there for a second but I think that oh, but I think that everything is good my first thought of seeing everything here like this is a it looks so different when they're with like a white um, background than when they're on my brown floor anyways um, there's a lot of brown here a lot of brown and it, probably a lot of duplicate browns as well. So I guess it might be useful to also subdivide these into like color families. So like the browns together and then like the pinks and reds, greens together. So I will do that. Okay, so everything is just super loosely divided by color. It was just a quick like off the bat kind of assessment and it's not totally rigid. And this does change things a bit when I see these all in their like color families and overlapping colors seem to me a little bit more easy to spot. Okay, so these ones right here these three are really similar and then like these two are really similar and this kind of feels cusp between those shades. So I think instead of five, I only need, you know, maybe two or three and or from these six, sorry. This one off the top of the bat is really yellowy. It's Paper Tiger and I think I'm going to pass this one along. And as far as these go this doesn't really do this one here doesn't really do it for me I would prefer this one here and this one is go with the flow majority of these are ColourPop there's only a few that are Mac but this also seems redundant with this so I think this one is going to win out over this one I'm going to put this in the declutter pile for now we can always revisit Oh boy this is wait for it and so these I think are good 
Now, these colors. This orange is so bright. I have no idea where I would wear that, so that is gonna go. And then this is Ready or Yacht. I'm gonna have to swatch this one. Can you see that? It is a really kind of orange sparkle and it's also kind of like chalky. When you build it up, like it does look nice, but I just, it's, it's kind of chalky. And I also have the Orange You Glad palette. So at the end, if I'm unsure, I can do a little double checking. I think this one's a declutter as well. Okay, so for now, out of that orange category, I'm gonna keep these four. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. And then I'm going to work on these purples um, here. There's also, a, there's a lot of over, overlap in this category in particular. Off the bat, this color here, not a huge fan of. And I also think it is, um, it resembles some of the ones I have in that new Flutter By palette. So this one is going to be a declutter. Same with this. Oh, not. S I have never in my life worn a sparkly. Oh, that didn't even swatch nice. Those swatches aren't great. Uh, yeah, I would never really wear this. I don't know why I bought it. That's a pass. This purple is also like too deep to really wear on the regular I'm gonna pass that i like this one um this is pretty cruel and i also like this one it's a nice little shimmery purple this too this is sleeper and then i also really like this one it's going steady now, out of these two, I definitely need to pick one having two. Like, they're too similar to, to keep both. Okay, so this one down here is Howlin', and then this one up here is two to Mango. Now, the difference is ever so slight. Um, one is just a tad more purple, and one is just a tad more pink. I think I'm going to keep the pink one. And then declutter Howlin'. I'm not too sure about this color here. I think I'm gonna keep it in for now and then move these all to the back. Let's go with the like pinky kind of reds next. Okay, this color here, it's Sandbar. Don't know where I would ever wear this color, so that's gonna go. And then I also have these two colors here that are super similar. And then I have these two, like these two are really similar. So I think this one I'm gonna declutter. I kind of like, oh, crap, I don't know. Okay, this is an easy pick for an in. This is Stay Golden, I like this, I'm gonna keep it. And I also like these three, or this one here. This is Say I Do, and then this, shimmery pink which is on the fence so these are all keeps and the decision kind of comes into play here um yeah these two seem really similar and then these two seem really similar if i take that out okay i think this one is an easy declutter this is poodle and then it comes in but like the color Hold on. Okay, so this is Making Moves and then this is Meteorite. I like this one a little bit better. It looks more orange than in the pan. So I'm going to keep that one, I think, over Making moves and then up at the top here this one is poodle and this one is fair play 
Yes. And so the one on the left is fair play and the one on the right is poodle. Now, the one on the right looks more red than pink. And I would prefer the more pink color. So I'm going to keep fair play. Yes, I'm going to keep fair play and then I'm going to declutter poodle. So this here is the little kind of um, quad or not quad. These are the pinky kind of colors that I'm keeping. Okay, on to the bluey greens and like this is, I don't know, this category. I'm going to put these here too. These are like the green, blue, and then like extras. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> so, I don't know why I bought this. This was a stupid decision. Um, <laughs> this is Deja Vu. No thanks. The same thing with this. I don't know when I would wear this on my eye. I think I just cut up and like buying colors that I thought were pretty and not buying things that were practical. This is Super Zoom. So that one's also a go. I think I'm going to keep these two. This is Tea Garden and then this is Team Captain. This, this is this watch here. It's called Heavenly. Is it? Um, oh, I'm going to tentatively keep this. This one here I'm also going to keep. This is Conjure Up. This one here is Beam Me Up. I just swatched it and this one here is Heavenly. When I swatch these together, um, this color reads more blue, obviously, and then this one reads more purple. Um, so I'm going to keep that one and then get rid of Heavenly. This is Dragonfly and I think this could be a really nice one shadow look. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is Blowfish. It's not really doing anything spectacular. Hmm. This is now in Zen. I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. I don't really know what I would do with a shade like this. Okay. This one is really fun. Um, can you see that in there? This is island hopping. I think this would just be like a fun little, um, like just a little fun shade. So I'm going to keep those. And then this is the main category where I have the most colors. And I can tell you off the bat, there's a couple of shades in here that I freaking love. One is this guy right here. This is Glass Bowl. I love this shade. This is Glass Bowl. Love it. And then this one is Snake Eyes. This is probably my favorite shadow of the moment. Of any palette, of any shadow, like any shadow that I could possibly own. This is it. Because it's such a great single shadow look. I also just swatched these. Um, a nice gold is always a favorite. This one is Let Me Explain. And then this one over here is Ringer. So I swatched them. This one here is Ringer and this one is Let Me Explain. They are different enough as golds and I love a gold. So I'm going to keep those. Okay, just watch this one here and this is Prom Night. I have no idea where it's from. Oh, that would be such a killer one shadow look. But let me, hold on. Let me compare it with this one here with Dragonfly. I said I wasn't sure about it. Okay, on the left is, Dragon, is Prom Night and on the right is Dragonfly. Oh, I'm going to keep them both. Do they not look different though? I don't know. I'm going to keep them both. Okay. <laughs> Please bear with me. This is Kit. This is Malt. This is Bel Air. And then this is Wake Up Call. Incredibly similar. But I think I'm going to keep them all. Oh, I feel so bad about that. But I love these. Maybe I will have to do a second shadow declutter. Okay, here I have Sable, Woodwinked, and then Tempting. I'm going to get rid of Tempting. They're too similar. 
Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to bring in all the ones I'm keeping. Okay, so everything on this side I'm keeping and everything on this side I'm giving away. So I'm giving away 18 and I'm keeping 39. The color difference of these shadows really articulates the color difference of what I like. And these ones here are like fantasy self shadows. Me trying to get into color or me thinking I'm going to wear something that I'm not. When I'm really clearly, you know, like a brown <laughs> eyeshadow lover or some little mauvies and reds over there. And I used to kind of think that there was something wrong with liking more simple or natural kind of shadows and that people who loved color were somehow like more sophisticated with their makeup or were better with their makeup, more adventurous. And I think I wanted to be those things. So that's why I have these pinks and purples and greens that don't really represent who I am and what I like in terms of makeup. And perhaps, you know, this collection will whittle itself down. We'll see. But I'm kind of happy with what I've done because it just seems like a more true representation of the kinds of things and the kinds of colors that I really I'm enjoying and that I really wear on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time that you've taken to watch this video. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe and stay tuned for some of my other content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.